Hey there, Dave here. Welcome back. If you're new around here, my name is Dave Hansen. I am a daily vlogger as of five, six days ago. And today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this frozen margarita machine right here. Truth be told, it's not technically a frozen margarita machine. This is the Margaritaville Bahamas Frozen Concoction Maker. It doesn't have a freezer in it, you're putting ice in. So basically this is an elaborate blender. Some of my most watched videos on YouTube are my tech reviews. So I figured this would be a great opportunity to review not exactly technology, but a gadget. I was at a party, they had one of these machines and it was fun to use. Don't get me wrong, this is different than what you'll want if you are having a high volume party and you wanna constantly have margaritas being frozen, but this is a fun toy. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know before you buy one of these. I'll show you what's in the box, we'll go over the features. I've done extensive research on the best tequila to use for a frozen margarita. We'll set it up, we'll use it, and at the end of this video, I happen to be having people over, so we're going to put this to the test in a real world scenario. This is actually the entry level model for the Margaritaville line of fancy blenders. And for my money, this is all you really need. They have four different lines of blenders. The Tahiti, it's crazy looking. It has basically three blenders that you can use at the same time. That's overkill. If you have that many people at your party, you just need to rent a machine that has the freezer. And if you do that often, buy a machine. I'm out on the Tahiti. The Bali retails for 500. You can get it for around 320. I'll put links on Amazon to all of these. So you can see what the current prices are. There's Tahiti, there's Bali, there's Key West, and then this is the Bahamas. 600, 500, 400, 300. With actual prices today of 400, 320, 250, and 150. At the moment, this one was sold out on Amazon and I needed it immediately. Um, so I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and with their 20% off coupon that you uh, get on your phone, I paid $159.99, $173 after tax. The only real difference between the more expensive one and the least expensive one, other than the one that's three crazy blenders, that overkill model, the other three at very different price points are essentially the same thing. Same size pitcher, the only real difference is they add more controls, they let you select various drink sizes, and they have a bigger ice holder. So if those are important to you, check out the more expensive ones. For me, this is a novelty. This is something that I'm going to occasionally use. If I'm having a big party, I'm not going to use it. But for a small gathering, this is fun. So what do you say we unbox this thing? Nice packaging, I'm a sucker for nice packaging. Here we go, some instructions. You may be wondering what makes me qualified to review a margarita machine. Well, I love margaritas. Actually, in addition to being an investor and YouTuber, a buddy and I own a bar together, the Inwood Tavern in Dallas, Texas. Look at this. This thing is giant and definitely not something I'm leaving out on the bar year round. This is their, what they call their no-brainer mixer. I thought this was kind of a cheesy gimmick, but the time that I've used this machine before, it was actually very useful. It has lines marked on it so that you know you fill with tequila to here, then triple sec, then lime juice, then orange juice, then margarita mix. Multiple recipes going around the thing, and it's designed to go inside of this, and there's a hole in the bottom that when you're measuring it goes one way, and then you turn it, and it releases the stuff right into the mixer. Yes, it's gimmicky. I saw some other people making margaritas and their tequila to mix ratio was completely out of whack. This comes in handy. This is the pitcher. It's made out of plastic, so it won't break at your pool party. This is the ice chamber. And finally, the mixer itself. This thing is ridiculously large, not something you're gonna to wanna to keep out on your counter at all times, but this is super functional. Let's get this set up. I have to give it to Jimmy Buffett and his Margaritaville people. This thing is very thoughtfully designed. You put this top ice reservoir onto the top, it locks into place, then you fill it with ice. There's a safety mechanism built in. If it's not latched, it won't grind. After you fill it with ice and the ice starts to melt, that all drains into this canister in the back. Very smart design. This holds 36 ounces. It's essentially a plastic pitcher with blender blades built in. My guests won't be here for about an hour and a half, but let's go ahead and make a batch. They make the directions on this thing super simple. It's four steps because they know nobody reads directions. Ice is in the chamber. The unit is locked. I'm gonna use this fancy measuring thing. Put the lid on the pitcher. Put the no-brainer mixer outer sleeve 
on top of the pitcher. This is where you're doing your measuring. It goes inside, you fill it like this, and then when you're ready to dump it into the pitcher, boom. Even the label, it's not sticky. Static cling. They've clearly done this before. Okay, I'm just gonna make a standard margarita. They're asking for orange juice and I don't have orange juice. We're gonna improvise. I've talked to multiple margarita machine rental companies. I've talked to bartenders. You don't need to put a super premium sipping tequila in your frozen margarita because you're mixing it with chemical lime juice. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Most people think they like silver tequila, but actually gold is the gold standard for frozen margaritas. I am not sponsored by Jose Cuervo, but I would love to be. <laughs> After all my research, this is what I recommend for your frozen margaritas. If you're going shopping for margarita mix, read the label. You will be shocked at how much sugar is in margarita mix. You will be equally shocked at how little lime juice is in most. This particular one is a handcrafted light margarita mixer. Again, not a sponsored product. I read every label at the liquor store yesterday and determined that this one has zero sugar. And many of the labels I read said made with 0% juice, as if that's something they're proud of. At least this one is 14% juice. Non-GMO, gluten-free, kosher, all natural flavors vegan was vegan really a concern with margarita mixers our next step here is triple sec which I do have there we go this is the fun part this keeps your mess to a minimum I appreciate that there's a power button there's a automatic button and a toggle between shave and blend for our first batch we're going full automatic watch this the first step is it's shaving the ice from the top, shooting it down into the pitcher. Then the blender starts blending while it's still shaving ice. a little loud. It's very loud. Oh my gosh. Let's see how we did. I'd probably typically serve it in a glass like this, but we're gonna be fancy today and use this margarita glass for the first time ever. That looks amazing. Getting a uh, Video call from Megan. Megan heard the blender. I'm sure she'll be down here in a moment. First impression, this machine is way too loud for indoor use if you're having a party. Move it out to the patio. It's not designed for high volume serving, but it is very high in volume. <laughs> it's a fun gimmick for a party, but the ultimate test is to see how it holds up when people arrive. And that will be in about one hour. Did you like this video? You know what to do. You put the ice in up here, and then it chips the ice down into the blender part and then the blender what do we think they're pretty good it's, it's a they're good pretty blend. good it could use a, a little blend. be a little sweeter that's the but recipe not the machine right. and it's not day either it's the recipe right he just followed instructions so. the consistency of the ice is nice solid ice, solid ice. ice. So. it's like taking sonic's yes. ice and then like blending it up mm. i give it four out of five four out of five yeah we also have uh daiquiris when we're ready for that it literally is just a blender. It's, it's like, a blender. it blends it's ice blender. down into here, and then it re-blends down there. Double blender. Double blender. It keeps your mess a little bit more contained. Look how good that is the cleanup. Bottom line on this frozen margarita machine, it's not really a frozen margarita machine, it's a souped up blender. I think it's a fun gimmick for your party, but it does make a really good drink, and it was remarkably easy to clean up. So all in all, I am a fan of this machine gonna do it. Thanks for watching. It's late. Time to go edit this daily vlog. 
If you haven't yet, please subscribe. If you like this video, let me know. But what is your experience with these kind of frozen margarita machines? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you tomorrow.